Hey guys, welcome to DreamCoin, where we show how to invest for a better tomorrow. My name's Tyler, and today we're going to be going over the insane price action that MRIN had after hours today, coming off of the announcement that they have basically renewed their revenue agreement with Google, as we had previously predicted here on the channel. And so if you're interested in seeing where I think the future direction of the company is going, make sure you check out those other videos. Today, we're going to be focusing on what this deal will mean for them going forward. So as we analyze the 8K filing that Marin Software had today, we can see that on September 17th, they actually came into an agreement with a revenue share process with Google. And this was something that we had frequently talked about in the past when I had covered the company and would be a possible catalyst coming into the end of this month where their deal was set to expire on September 30th. The date of this renewal of the agreement will be going through on October 1st after the prior deal is terminated on September 30th. And the new deal is going to have a baseline revenue payment with the opportunity for potential raises in the revenue based on what Marin is providing for, you know, just revenue generated in relation to search ads and Google's platform in general. So not only are they going to be having a fairly consistent revenue stream from Google still, they'll have potential for growth in that revenue stream on top of that. And it helps bolster their portfolio where they're now pretty much set for cash on top of all of the money that they've raised from share offerings in the past. Now, as we look at the chart, we can see here on September 21st, which is today in after hours, it had a massive jump to where it peaked about 75, 80% up from where it was trading prior in the day where they were hovering just above $5 and are now sitting at where they peaked over $10 and are currently trading about $974 at the time of this video. What's going to be interesting is the fact that if this can support going into pre-market tomorrow, this was a prior resistance for them based on where it had previously traded. And so if it can hold around this 970 area, we might be seeing it move through this channel of 970 to about 1050. The next major resistance that I'm seeing is about 1050 right now based on its previous cycle where it had ran a ton and jumped over $20. And that was just on the Instacart news. So with the Google deal and everything going through, there could potentially be more of a run. Just be wary that the flow is higher than it was last time. And on top of that, they do have about $100 million filed that they can potentially put into the market as a shelf offering in order to just raise more funds for their company. So that could come at any point, whether it's now or whether there's further stock kind of pumping up that would allow for them to profit off of. After about 1050, there's going to be a huge channel to where the next major resistance for me is going to be roughly about $14. So if we can get above about 1050, we might have this channel where we could see maybe 14, 15 bucks again on the stock. It's really just going to be dictated by who is interested in it going into tomorrow, how early the strength can go and everything like that. The broader market has been kind of red with the debt ceiling stuff going on and the Fed talks that have been happening. So it's kind of hard to say if this will get crushed in that or if this will kind of go up in spite of that. But we haven't seen a bunch of crazy stocks moving with this velocity in such a short amount of time in a few weeks now. And so this would allow for a possible entry for algorithms and stuff going into tomorrow where this could have further upside. Just remember that this was trading just about $5 for basically the last couple of months now. And so that could be a possible drop back down to where it would go to about $7 and then $5 again. So I would just be wary how you're trading this and make sure you know your downside versus your upside if you're trying to enter now. I just wanted to bring that very quick update for you guys with the short-term price action on MRIN and everything going alongside with that. I think they do have a very large future ahead of them. So make sure you check out my previous videos on Marin Software so you can see why I think they have a long-term upside. I did predict that I thought the Google deal would be pretty solid for going through before it expired. And so since that transpired today, they're going to have a lot more support for them going over the next couple of years financially. If you want to take advantage of after market transactions like this and a lot of the crazy volatile price action, make sure you sign up with Weeble where you can trade between uh, 4 a.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Eastern. And that'll give you more access to pre-market and aftermarket hours. If you use my link in the description, you'll get two free stocks for signing up as well. That's going to do it for me in this video today, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.